guys, and welcome to episode 2 of, uh, Let's Play Banished. Uh, we'll just start off and see what we have so far. And we don't really need to scroll around, because we can see that we have two builders, six farmers. This is just two farms. Uh, we have six gatherers. I mean, we have we have eight gatherers. This is just two gathering farms, because usually gathering, far, uh, gathering areas have four each. We have no fishermen, and we probably never will, uh, unless I find a reason to just put some because I have nothing else to do. Two set of hunting lodges, a woodcutter, a forester with one person on it. We got a blacksmith, we got a tailor, we got a trader, and um, yeah, we have a trader, and that's it. So things that we should probably do this time, probably just expand the town and get a marketplace. A marketplace is essential, it is a happiness booster, and I've learned a few things since the last time I played. That, uh, happiness is important. Obviously in everybody's lives, including these guys' lives. So I want to give them, uh, a marketplace for happiness and possibly a well for happiness. Why does a well increase their happiness? I have no clue, but it does from, from what this guy was doing. On uh, Twitch Cleave TV, he was the one that was showing me it. It's pretty impressive. For now, we have no wood whatsoever because we have no wood to what what's okay. Thank you, Brain. Thank you so much. We have no wood whatsoever, so we need to take care of that. So we're gonna go ahead and tell them to get to it. And we're at moving times ten speed. And apparently, I told them to do stone. Why is stone important? Who knows. Instead, I'm going to tell him, hey, to hell with that. Stop. You don't need that stone. They're going to go grab the rest anyways, because it's just what they do. If they see stuff on the ground, they have to go pick it up, because they got some OCD in this game. Okay, I have six people working on that. That is absurd. We're going to have, uh, three. Yeah. I only had, yeah, I had six. That's really crazy. Take that to three. Those potatoes, as I remember, didn't give me much of a yield, so. Mm -hmm. What is the yield right now? Zero percent. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Why are we going to get rid of this? Because that's just not worth it. <clears throat> We're going to increase it and make it bigger. Probably right here. Let's see if we can take it to size 15. Gotta make sure there's no damn trees in the way. I don't have. It's already spring. There's no time to sit there and cut everything down. Uh, you know what? Let's try a pepper. The worst will happen is we'll go ahead and do four. Cause why not? And when we start, it just switch four, which it just did. Good. Okay, there's some trees. Wow, they're hauling ass because of times 10 speed. Someone became a laborer. Excellent. Somebody said that I can further lower these numbers, but I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not exactly jumping up and down to do that. Especially with uh, less than a thousand food. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I like being alive. But it's still spring, and I have four laborers, so I can make another farm. This one would be potatoes. The reason you want it to be potatoes is because you don't want them all to have the same type of food. Uh, what would happen if you had nothing but the same food to eat every day? You'd go nuts. And uh, that's what happens in this game. They lose happiness from it. So, yeah, it's something you definitely don't want to do. What are you doing? Why don't you? Oh. Just like in this lineup. Herp derp. And we should go ahead and add another house or two or four. Now the person that uh I was watching play Cleave TV. He puts his houses 
very differently, but we're gonna, I'm going to continue doing it my way for now, and then probably in another game I'm going to try it his way because his way is actually pretty interesting. He puts the uh, he puts he has I have two area for the roads to prevent fires. He has two areas on each house. Add a house, move to, and then he does it all over the place. He does that for forest can grow in between. He can actually put a forester in the town. I, I will probably do that with another section of the town. This one is just going to be a compact area. Get those, get them, their, get them their houses where they can make babas, babas. Probably going to go to uh, spring of the tenth year. It should not be that long at ten times speed. Uh. What can we do? Oh, I got five more laborers. Excellent. I have absolutely... I gotta pause. I have absolutely no wood. That's uh, something that I need to remedy very quickly. Just have them go over there. They'll go do it. The four people and then the farmers get done, they'll go do it too. Now, uh, here's a problem. While they're doing this, if they, if they're like, uh, see the blacksmith and they had nothing to do and they started doing this, they will not stop until this is cleared. Fortunately, you can get farmers to stop, but nobody else will, and they, they won't, they don't care if they're running out of tools or anything else. So they'll keep on going until it's done. That could be a uh, city killing. Everybody dies from starvation because. They have no tools and they're trying to cut down a tree with their fist. It's effective in Minecraft, it's not effective in Banished. Next. So what I think we're going to build next is almost certainly the Marketplace. And more than likely, we're just going to put it here. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. That way everybody here is covered, and this will be a little happiness thing for them. And... Boink! Do it. Ah, crap, I don't have enough iron. Is there any iron here? No. Of course not. Oh, there is a little iron. Okay. So after that, get the iron. I don't need any stone. I will need afterwards, but not now. Iron closer. Yes, there is. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, they already cleared that. How much did they give me? Oh, wow, that gave me a good amount. Actually, wait a minute. I can click this. It tells me that they made 1,324 peppers from that. And they made. 1,316 from that. That's not bad. That was about the same for each one. Not bad at all. I learned, yeah, I just learned that you can, you can click that and see. Ooh, 24. Wow. You know, we're going to go ahead and turn that up. See how that turns out. 24 logs is not very much. With the gatherer, how much food are you giving us? Holy shit! That is a lot of food. That's a decent amount. That's 100 food per person? What the hell? That doesn't seem very efficient. You know what? Let's let's do a little test and turn that down to one. I know some people might freak the hell out if they saw me doing that. But yeah, we're gonna do a test. And if it gets my town wiped out, then so be it's my fault and everybody can laugh at me. Let's take that up to fifty thousand. You don't want them to stop producing food ever, and they will as soon as they hit that food limit, it'll stop their doing and go wander off. Thanks. 
so they should be building that, but instead they're just wandering around. Oh yeah, they're getting the iron still. Merchant has arrived. I clicked you. I clicked you. Go okay. There we go. Pecan. Pecan. Pecan seeds. I could build an orchard. I'd actually, I'm not going to do a damn thing. I don't have enough. Uh, I'm a, he'll bring seeds I want eventually. So, what we're going to go ahead and do now is tell them to bring me 1,000 venison. If you hear my roommate's rambling in the background, that's because, uh, yeah, not much you can do about that. Let's go ahead and put two around them just for aesthetics. It makes it look nice. Nice and pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. As dirty as... As pretty as dirt can get. I said as dirty as pretty can get. <laughs> Silly brain. Let's see what you did. Um... Uh, Oh wow, that fits perfectly. Okay. Put those there. That's done. Uh, we need to take this down to two. We need to take the, uh, brain. Brain, come on. Mark it up to three. Three's a good number. Now they'll come and empty this and put it all in there. That way you won't have any bastard hoarders taking all your food. Dirty bastards. Stop boring food. It's annoying. And I'm pretty sure that we probably have, uh... Okay, I can take this up to one now. I mean, two now. Since there's more people that would know my stories. See, the venison is useful. If, uh... If vegetables come, I could trade the venison for one piece of meat for three pieces of, uh, vegetables. That's a fantastic trade. Hopefully that keeps up with me as it is now. Let's see what it says. This, uh, yeah, the trade wasn't that. The, the trades are very, uh, 320 for one person's job. Why are you, what? Oh, okay. Durr. Yeah, it's me being a dipshit. Now, I wonder if I could take this down to two. Do it on the other one as well. Just see if I can increase efficiency while lowering the number of people I need to do something. That way, I would only need four. And then I can have the other ones do something productive like, wow, those are already done. Difference. That's, a, that's so much better. See, bigger is better usually. Somebody said I can use three. Actually, the cleave guy did. But I'm just gonna stick with four for now. Maybe try, try that some other time. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna get about the same as last time. Ooh, thousand food. Next winter, I'm gonna need to, uh... I mean, next spring, I'm gonna have to build another farm. <coughs> Oh, hacking and coughing, that sounds so lovely to you guys. Uh, this winter I'm going to have them work on this little area right here, clear it out. Actually, no. Stop. Stupid. Why are you having them do that over there when this is much more accessible? Clear it out. Zoom zoom! Zoom zoom zoom! Haha, <laughs> look at him go. Uh, probably gonna add... A couple more houses.
I'd say that if I can add two houses a year, that I'd be pretty good off. I think I'm screwed up here. There's probably not even a thing I did screw up. Maybe I didn't. Let's see if I can work this out. Actually, that, that's alright. I don't think it affects the uh, efficiency of the area much. What I'm talking about is, uh, I could probably have them... Uh, it looks it looks right. It looks like the rest of the town, so that would be good. I think it'd have been better if I probably where the hell are the houses? Probably faced him like this, and then did it all the way over there, and then did it all the way over there. But instead, I have them like this. Yeah, that's that's not it's not the best way to do it, I guess. I guess it could be worse. Yeah, that's right, you gotta get there going. Holy hell! The burps are amazing! Actually, you guys should probably have plenty of time to go over here and uh, rip this area out too. So chop chop, get to it. So I'm definitely going to add two farms. Potato. Ah, damn it. Now, I think builders might come over if I start doing this. And this tells them, hey builders, this is more important. Get your asses over here. Yep, here they come. You gotta keep doing it. Otherwise, they'll just keep wandering off. This is more important. Do this. Do this. One more. Come on. Just pick it up too. He's gotta go run off. This is important. Come back here. Okay. So I have you for pepper, and I'll have you for potato. We will add 16 farmers as an ask. We'll take this back down to two because most of the stuff is built, and it is probably time to get a school going. Spring. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to tell them, hey, this is important. This is important. Go do it. Yep, here they come. Okay, see that works. <laughs> Entire herd of deer is just roaming by. And they're just they're the Lord in high animation it looks so weird, they just look like they're freaking out constantly. I just thought they were running off and not doing their farming job. They're just running to their house to grab something to eat or something. That's how it usually works. Got a lot of cold houses. As long as they all don't turn cold, it's fine. So let's go to a house that's warm to warm up. I guess. Since they never go in their houses to like sleep or anything, that's fine. Otherwise, they'd be pretty damn cold in their cold houses while they're sleeping. Now, I'm almost hoping for a tornado. And you, I know you're probably just raising your eyebrow like, what? You want a tornado? You fucking weirdo. 
But no, uh, I actually have a video that I'm going to put up that's a review of this game. And we want a video of a tornado. I have had everything but a tornado. I've had fires, malaria, smallpox, the flu, and no tornadoes. I would really like tornadoes. I'm surprised there isn't a uh, merchant. Or there was a merchant, I didn't see it. In fact, the case, I'm just a moron. I don't want center, I want to see the... Yeah, it was about exactly the same as the year before. Wow, that was kind of shitty that month. What's going on here? I mean, that season. Durr! This is your first season, so I can't tell. I imagine they'll be about the same. You get that yield higher. They should take it all to the marketplace. That's what I believe they'll do. Yeah, they'll run it over to the marketplace. They take 100 at a time, unless they're starving, then they take 10 at a time, because that makes perfect sense. I want to make sure these guys are actually getting all the damn food. Because sometimes they'll they'll let winter come and it's half the food will be there and it'll rot. It'll 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 freeze and die rapidly when that happens. And that's actually quite damn infuriating. Oh, there's a trading post guy. What do you got? This is this is you're gonna see what I was talking about. Take it up to a thousand. So five hundred, I'm back. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna need all of it. I need way less on it. And I can do the trade. Just missed. There. I just double I just tripled my food. Five hundred meat for fifteen hundred vegetables. Works for me. Wow, they're going for that fast. Come on. Come on. Hurry your asses up. We're gonna lock on this because if it freezes before they get done with these potatoes, they'll lose them. I mean, if they get them into a little uh, into little baskets, it doesn't matter. But if it's still on the ground when the, the freeze comes, then it's just ruined. But uh, they've got it. I think they've got it. You can't predict when it gets so cold that it freezes. It can happen right now. It can happen in the beginning of autumn, which is devastating when it happens. You lose so much food when that occurs. Alright, so once again, we have no damn wood. Just damn typical. And we got a good little reserve over here, so what we're going to do is say, hey... All this. Do it. Do it now. And what I think I'll probably do is uh, put a forest drop here. That seems like a good idea. And maybe put a fishery here. And I'm, I know I said I wouldn't do a fishery, but it can't hurt that much. You know, and I haven't put that up like that. That's bad. You should never not do that. Bad things happen. Now, I need to get a, remember its name, or not, a town hall. In fact, that is uh, one of the next priorities. I need to get this. This is important. Can we just put it right there? Yeah, we can. There's a reason that you want to get this as soon as you possibly can. You want to get it as soon as you can, but you don't want to get it so soon that it, it infringes on your survival. You want to make sure everything's stable. Ish. It's a lot easier to see that when you have the damn town hall built, but town hall requires 124 stone. I don't even have 124 stone. So I'm going to literally have to tell them, hey, grab stone. We're going to need it. And unfortunately, there is a humongous damn mount right here. 
That should do it. Take that up to four, so once they get enough stone, they can get to it. Uh, hmm. I can't do anything right now other than add another farm. That farm's pretty damn far away. for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that works. That worked perfectly. I don't know why I don't have one already like that. You know, it was just pep because it just seemed to be easier. Bing. Go. Now, I could, uh, put a stockpile right here so I can just go grab it and put it, uh, put it in there to go back, but it doesn't seem to make it much faster, and in the end you're going to have to tell them to move that anyway, so just let them do their little run back and forth crap. They're going to do it anyways. What the hell? That's really weird. They like jump on top and fall through. Okay. We have enough to build this? Oh, we do have enough. It's being built. Yay! Hurrah! Hoorays! Hoorays! We're getting to it, and these guys should be building. Should be building. Build! Hey. There we go. One, it can get you more people in your town, which is a blessing and a curse at the same time. And you'll figure out why later on when we, that starts happening and nomads start arriving. But two, it gives you this. This tells you everything. There's 21 houses with 30 families. That means we have nine families that are having trouble for, that can't have kids because they're living with their parents. This tells us that we have, uh, this is our food. We've, in the past year, we've used 600 and we've produced 7,500. That's fantastic. That means that we have more food than we're eating. You have to keep an eye on that because it does. It's it it always goes up higher and higher every year. So we'll go ahead and put that down here. It's permanent. I'm never closing that window again. In fact, if I could find a way, I would force these windows never to close. That way, they're just there. So it looks a little cluttered, but yeah, it's really useful. And I'll, do, I'll go ahead and let these guys grab the rest of the stone. Because we do need it. We need iron too, so... It'll be winter before they start this. I'll just tell them to grab the iron. There's even more iron over here! We'll tell them to begin a forester. We'll put the forester right here. This doesn't seem like really good land, so why not? I guess I could put houses there later, but we can use this to get some free trees. Of course, we don't have any wood. So what we're going to have to do is tell them, go ahead, stop. Harvest everything, because we need, we do need a little bit of everything right now. Just let them go at it. Keep a high eye on the town hall. We're 
produce they're using more than they're producing right now but that's just because they're probably harvesting everything right now there we go there we go we're producing way more than we're using right now surprised I haven't seen the uh, Trader this year. I imagine we'll see him soon. Let's check. Let's check. This is one hunting cabin. He, he's making even more food by himself than he is was just was three. Oh my god! How about the gatherers? Oh, there comes the hunt. Yeah, there he's. Oh wow! It's actually more efficient to only have one, one person per hunting lodge. Well, son of a bitch. No wonder why my other towns got wiped out. Okay, the Forester Lodge is ready. We're gonna go ahead and add, uh... Yeah, go ahead. As many people as you can. Get that forest growing so we can cut it down. Traitor! What do you got? Pear seeds. Pear seeds. Nope, go away. Don't want them. Not yet. Maybe when I get more wood, when I'm more prepared. And you just see loaders running around and planting trees. Are you still there? Okay, no, you're not. I hate it when it should just go away as soon as I do. Uh, as soon as I kill him to go away, he should be gone. Okay, uh, as you can see, the woodcutter cannot keep up. We now need another woodcutter. So. Say, hey, woodcutter. There. We'll just put them there. There we go. That'll work. Food production's good. People are still being cold, but as long as other houses are, are warm, it doesn't matter. It's just all the guy that was cold ran to that house. I don't know if he was living there or what. There's only only a 44 year old living in that house. I wish he would get thrown out so we can have more kids. Let's go ahead and add six houses. Because why the hell not? Time. I should have first time just to add the houses. I fucked that up. Yay! I'm moron. Put this down here. Put this down here. There we go. I can't screw it up now. Fisher Price, how to build a city? I did it! Let's turn that up a little bit. There we go. We can all do building stuff for now. We're almost done with that. Actually, they'll keep doing that, I think. Maybe less roads, because for some reason, they, if there's roads, they do the road before everything else. They just have this fascination with roads. Even though they, they really want to take them, they just dodge all the roads the best they can. Because the Pathfinder is pretty bad. It would be fixed eventually. But yeah, it's still pretty bad. Still pretty bad. So, we're going to start building the houses. We're going to start making more babas. And I'm pretty sure it would be the best time to uh, get a teacher. Get a teacher and increase the efficiency of all the... the all the people that become laborers after this by 30%. <laughs> 11 year old, happy 11 year old. 30, 30 year olds or 18 year olds, you sick bastard.
Alright, so now we have... We're gonna have 30, 37 homes, 31 families. Good enough. Let's take this down to four. It's last season. This is growing good. Just go ahead and leave them on. Leave them on that. What, can I have you guys do something? Instead of 12 people just doing nothing. Because that's always fun to have 12 people doing nothing. Or I can have them do farming too. Facts. Nah, I'll leave that for trees. Oh, I could have you guys getting more of these stones. Yeah, do it. Do it now. Get rid of the stones. Forester down here too. Of course, once again we're running low. I should have two woodcutters. Yeah. Two cut two woodcutters, no wood. Goody. And that's what this game is all about. Slow expansion. We're using a lot, but that's fine. By autumn we'll find out whether we're in trouble or not. Seems like last year says that we're not eating how we're we're having a surplus of about 30% of our food. Holy shit, did you see that? He flipped! He did some expert. You know what? Yeah. Stone's good. I didn't want to not do that. Wow, they're making so much food. I, assu I assumed they would make less, but they're making even more. looking good. Next winter I will be able to cut all those trees down. I could actually wait three years and then, you know, I would get a whole lot, but it just seems I'm in... Okay, I'm just gonna admit, I'm impatient. I don't want to wait three damn years for my trees. But sometimes he has to for efficiency reasons, and maybe I should. How many... Of course they're not... Why would I even look at that? Of course they're not making any... Oh, maybe if I tell them to cut stuff down, they would start cutting stuff. Good job, Grover. Good job. Excellent. You moron. Oh yeah, we have so, we have so much food. Eleven logs. There we go. Like I said, uh, if I didn't say it before, I'll say it now. This lowers the efficiency of the hunting cabin and the gatherer's hut. But I think because they have less food, because, I mean, they have less people, it won't affect them that much because more stuff can grow before they come and snatch it up. Our health is going down. I probably need a medicine person, also known as a herbalist. Probably build one, but probably not this year. It's already winter. It's already winter, and they're they're still working on the uh, stone, right? I mean, oh no, they're not. They're done with the stone. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> that caught me off guard. Uh... Have them do this little spot. It's gonna be over before they get done with it this year. God damn it! You keep closing that. I wish I I the first mod I get will stop me from closing those windows. Sixteen laborers. We're gonna need another farm. Yeah. Shop that damn. Shop it. Naughty naughty wood. Some of them are just cutting him down, like, d is he carrying a damn thing? Do you have anything in your inventory? No, he doesn't. He chops something down and just wandered back. Because he's going to get something to eat. Why don't you pick the damn thing up, then go get something to eat? Sometimes, game. Just, just sometimes. Sometimes. Late winter. Go, go, go! Wow, it's a, it's a really warm winter, and that's that. So, things I want to do next episode. Get a school. Get a hospital. A hospital is slightly important. Uh, probably continue to expand the town. Maybe three or four houses a year. Make sure we don't run out of food. So far we're doing good. But according to last year, we didn't do as good as we did a couple years before because we got more people, obviously. So that's what we'll be doing. We have 17 laborers, so I have more than enough... I have more than enough people to. Do, I have more than enough people to do what I want. Burps are trying to stop me from speaking. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, if you have anything to say, opinions or whatever, tell me how I'm a moron. Tell me how you like something, whatever. Uh, go ahead and give me a, a comment or send me an email at uh, gcrockwood at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys next time.